Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of DIY Dad and Daughter Hi. Sam. <laughs> this is our shower right here. This is what we're doing today now. We've actually started taking this bathroom apart, haven't we? But uh, the rabbits That's came along, didn't they? That's our old shower. Listen, remember? The rabbits came along, which put us really behind with just about everything, isn't it? I got a stick on the floor. But it does mean we've got to build the deck, isn't it, guys? Yeah. And get the back garden done. But today, Emily, shower time, eh? So here we go, you guys. This is our new shower. It's a Triton. And um, guys, you know, again, please don't do this at home. You know, if you're if you're not confident, you know, get a professional in. These, this isn't a professional video, guys. This is just for entertainment purposes. Yeah. But I basically fitted that shower 20 years ago, and it was the cheapest of cheap, and it has worked really well since, hasn't it? Am I? But I'm shooting. We need to get cracking with this, guys. What was saying then, son? This is my water gun. <laughs> well, that's actually the pole for the shower, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yeah. So basically, guys, you know, a shower is actually very, very simple. Cold water in here. I'm assuming that's the pump. Heated up here and comes out as hot water. And you're basically wiring it just like your plug. You know, live, neutral, earth. Um, we've got a obviously got the the wire and the pipework in the back there anyway. I've got a sticker on my nose. <laughs> so Look, hopefully that's what you're going to use. The shower and we're done. Right guys, so that's just the front of it. Obviously we'll put the front on last, don't we you guys, eh? So basically guys, we were just chatting, weren't we? And remember, that it's quite a dangerous job, isn't mm -hmm. it? You could get electrocuted yeah. and die. Because it's never really the volts that cause the problem, guys. It's the amps. And that's quite a high amp coming through. I think it's 10 amps or something. So that's pretty dangerous. So what we need to do shut is isolate, off. shut the power off, and isolate the water. Because we've got great water pressure, haven't we? So it's really, really quite powerful. So we have to shut it all off. My little Miss Ems. You have to do the thumbnail, won't you? Yeah, so guys, let's get this shower off. We'll start getting into the next one. So we've isolated the power and we've isolated the water. And we're just going to let some of the water run out the taps up here. Let's have a look, you guys. Which one's cold again, this one? Yeah. Here we go. That's awesome. Right, so guys, sorry, it is a little bit dark uh, in this room. Because the power is off. Yeah, because the power is off. Uh, da, 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 two screws at the top. If I can remember rightly, it's 20 years since I did this, Ems. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. So does it just come down? There must be one at the bottom as well, guys. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, there's one at the bottom. Now, this hasn't been working for a few weeks now, mm -hmm. probably in the months actually, the cause of my surgery and recovery AMs. Mm -hmm. So we're now getting into, yeah, so what's happened is the, this part is broken. So that was no use at all. But let's see, so that's where the hot water comes out. The cold is over here. And there's the electricity. Right guys, so old shower, new shower. And you probably can't see, guys, but the cold feed is over here on the right-hand side, which is perfect for this. So all we really need to do, young Ems, is take this baby off. Mm -hmm. hey. That's the question. How will we get it off? You watch this. Now, of course, we don't have... I'm sorry about the light again, guys, and we don't have power tools either. Um, where was that? There it goes. And we don't have power tools either, guys, so yeah. we have to do everything by hand, which is weird. I haven't had to do anything like this by hand for a while. So the only a real issue, the only fiddly bit, guys, is the is the what you call it, the cold feed. Otherwise, it's all kind of okay. Yeah, pretty much. That was one just up in there. Look. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's one at the bottom as well. And we'll just get this bit off this off as well, guys. So of course this is old colours. Look, this is red, which is live coming at the brown. So hopefully we'll be able to match up better with the and new black's one. black's going into blue. There we go. But guys, hopefully you can see in the camera how thick those wires are. These are heavy. This is heavy, heavy G. So, and the old dust, guys. And I think we've got enough to pull the pipe out. I'm absolutely sure of it. So we've got that off and we need the earth wire off. Which is here. Oh. It's always the hardest. We need a sheet for the earth wire as well. I don't know why. 20 years ago, I suppose. So basically, guys, 
Let's see if we can get this off. Because these are just push bit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get that screw right out. Yeah, so I've got this bottom screw's a bit jammed, guys. I can't get it out, so. Yeah, get on rip it. And there's the 15 mil pipe coming out, so we've got tons, as you can see guys, we've got absolutely tons of space. There we go. You just have to try and get the yellow bit off. Well, I think this is actually, it's a push fit cut. Did you get it? Oh, there we go. Yeah. So basically guys, sorry, just push fit. And that has obviously held for a long, long time. I'm pretty sure that, oh, that, that fit in there was actually white okay. before. But that's the old one off. Yeah, that. That screw is in there. Oh, it's even you haven't got power tools, guys. Oh, my goodness me. Emily, have you got any handy wipes? You know the baby wipes or something like that? Um, I think they're downstairs. All right, okay. I think I'll just put them down and get one. Yeah, so we're going to have to pull the... On this one, the wiring's up at this side here, so we've got a little bit more coming through so you can get that in. But I think, guys, we are going to be spot on. Absolutely spot on. It's going to be about there. Here you go, Dad. I need a drill, though, Emily. Yeah. I need a drill. Sorry, guys, two seconds. This is wet wool, so this should all just sort of wash off. We are actually going to tile on top of the wet wall a little bit later. But for now, um, we are just going to get the shower in action, eh, mm -hmm. There we go, just dusty. Because me and my mum were always asking for a shower. <laughs> I know, it's just the long list of jobs goes on and on and on, doesn't it, darling? Yeah, it's endless. It's endless. Well, there'll be an end someday, honey. There will be. Yeah, there'll be an end sometime. Right, guys, so obviously a slightly different wire configuration going on here. Well, that's okay. I'm basically going to need these guys to go up in there and the earth wire, I'm just going to need to clip that earth wire to suit as you can see. So that should be easy enough guys. There we go, brown to brown, uh, I'll tell you that's, that's not a, a big opening going in there. Let's see, it's not going right in all done. Okay, well, I want to see this thing ram home, there it goes. Yeah, so that's the brown pretty much rammed home. Yeah, that'll be fine, guys. Now, I'm quite the boy when it comes to this, you guys. I tend to, you know, like to have... You, know, you can't just isolate the shower by the switch downstairs, but I just switch the power off the whole house. I think on this occasion, guys, I think we'll put the power back on. Keeping the keeping the shower off, obviously, um, so that we can get this actually drilled up and put up in there. I think that would be the way. Obviously, I'm a little farther back. We need to get that right on the pipe there. Hopefully, you can see it in the angle. So basically, guys, you know, when we put this elbow on, that's going to determine where we're going to have this. You see, that's the idea. Right, guys. So earth wire to go in now. I'll maybe get a, I'll get a sheath for it a little bit later. I don't think it's going to stop the job. I can't even think if I've got anything old that I could steal a, a sheath from. What's a sheath, Dad? It's just a, a cover. It's a green cover that goes over the top of the earth wire to let you know that it's the earth wire. But we can do that a little bit later. Well, I'm going to do that a little bit later, I should say. Mm -hmm. But for now, it needs to be stuffed in there and then tightened up. That's Scottish, isn't it, for tightening? Tichten. Ticht it up. Oh, that's ticht. That's in, that is tight. I know. Bye. Hey, darling. Yeah, hey, right, so all three wires are in. A huggy from a girl. Hi. So basically, guys, look, I forgot it in the camera. There we go. It's the slightly, obviously, newer from last time. It was a 20 year old fitting. This is a plastic pipe fitting it's 15 mil or half inch as you'd like to call it and of course you can't use a compression fitting but it's a bit awkwardish I'd rather just go with this because that's basically marring up the copper to the to the plastic just like that guys you know so that should look really good
All right, guys, so basically, hopefully I'm still getting a good camera angle here, guys. I think instead of switching the power on, guys, I'm going to punch a hole through you. Now, this stuff is really strong. You know, once you screw that on, it'll be absolutely fine. But I just need to make the mark with this, and that should really do it. I'm just wondering, are we in the camera? Yeah, okay. So that's what I'm going to do there, guys. So a slightly higher angle, guys. And like I said, guys, you know, the, the old surgery and surgery recovery, remember it? Uh -huh. it puts you, it's put us really far behind with just about everything, really. Uh -huh. And um, you know, this has cuts up into so much work. It's good, but it's a lot of work, guys. Yeah, so obviously this is going to determine. I think we're going to be absolutely fine just there, guys. I couldn't see us being out. So what we'll do is, I'm very close to the wall, so I can just take it in relation. And we'll put one in right there, Emily. Okay. Right there. Don't want to drop that. And what we'll do is, this, this uh, my father was a qualified joiner when he first started out. This is actually one of his old tools. We'll put it up. This is proper construction. This is proper construction, baby. And my dad's friends were builders. That's right. Our builders. That's right. Oh! Yeah, so let's push this baby in by hand, guys. And there's um, there is sometimes other ways to make stuff uh -huh. without using power. Without using power, I know. Using your strength. Just brute strength sometimes, guys. So, uh, I'll feed that wire back in, in just a second, guys. I, I think it needs to be under that. It's a bit tight, this. It's not. Because I obviously fitted this for the previous shower size. So it's a slightly. There. Right, so that's the top part. We'll need to square that up a little bit. Right, so guys, I'll meet where the next hole goes, which is just down in there. But I think the last job now, I've got the cable where I need it, I need to put in this joint. This is the last bit. And we'll see how we get on. So this is a push fit. A push fit fitting. A push fit fitting. Yes. So we are going to put, so she's going to go on like that. What does that look right? So we put them in, put them in big pipe first. Oh, I got a hug from my girl. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, guys. <laughs> but this little this girl. This is my hand. This little girl has been asking for me to fit a shower for I don't know how long. Two months. But, remember, the rabbits put us way behind, didn't they? I've been asking you for two months. <laughs> oh, that's in. So, obviously, guys, um, I want to test that it's getting power and that we've got no leaks coming from this. Uh, before we go forward, oh, let's see. Whoa, man, that is tight on there, guys. That is tight on there. Yes, I think oh. got it. Okay. Right, so let's just check to see if this bottom sign goes on. It kind of goes. Yeah, it still goes in. It still goes in, that. Yeah, so I just kind of broke it off and I got it back in. That elbow is just. It's just a little gap, which is fine. There we go. I'm sure when we screw all that back on, it'll be absolutely fine. Oh, me! Right, where's the, where's the, the hose for it, hun? Oh. That's basically what we're going to be doing right there, guys. I see. Well, we don't really have to change that other hose. No, we could use the old hose. Right, so guys, before we actually switch the power on, I want to test the water. Mm -hmm. So we are going to open this tap a little bit here. Still a little bit of water coming through. Emily, we're not going to turn on the power. So I've got my little girl here. You're going to keep an eye on that elbow and see if you see any drips from you, okay? okay. So I'll run down. So that elbow bit. Yeah. Right, so guys, that's us up and on now. I think this wire here is actually stopping us getting this to come to the wall. So I think what I'm going to do at a later stage is actually lift it away from the wall and put in a wood surround because we're going to be tiling all of this so that at some point. So we did have a little bit of a leak, didn't we? Just a tiny leak up here. This just need to run home a bit more. Mm -hmm. We've got the wiring's all in. Let's do our checks, Emily. Look, they're all nice and tight. Brown, blue, earth. That's cool. There's no leaks happening there. 
we need to put the cover on. We're not going to switch the shower over the cover. Okay. So it's just two little screws, top and bottom, is it? Oh, is. No, two on each. I've seen two at the bottom, but two holes. Yeah. Um, Sorry, guys. If I was actually having a look. Two, two on top and bottom. Yeah. Two top and bottom. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, I think we're going to put something in behind here, guys, because the wire. Say that I move the wire down. The yeah, Emily. Mhm. Mm Maybe she, that's just a little bit. So screw there, screw there, screw there. And then we can test it. Yeah. There we go, got the lights back on again now, guys. And check it out. I did actually have to replace this reel. I wasn't going to film that. It's just to screw that on. But the old ones are going to have to come off. And like I said, guys, we're going to tile this whole bit. Right, round about the bath. I'm going to have to reseal it anyway. Because we are getting a little bit of water through that. Okay. But there we are, guys. Check it out. Hey, pretty good. And young Emily and David have both had a shower so far to test it out. So let's see. There we go. Who's that? And they really enjoyed it apparently. It was very good. Yeah, that's not bad at all actually. That's a 10 kilowatt shower I think. So that's, you know, it's pretty good going. Yeah, there we go. Let's get up top. Trying to get the action camera wet. <laughs> But yeah, there we go, you guys. And yeah, this is just another sort of area of the house that's suffered since me having, you know, the whole surgery recovery thing, you know. And uh, this is the room we're really going to crack on with next. That's the shower fitted for now. A couple of screws to put back in there. We'll to get back in underneath there just to get that wire so we get it flush against the wall. But otherwise, guys, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that wasn't too difficult a job, guys, you know. So hopefully some hints and tips there. And uh, hopefully I'll crack on with this bathroom, guys. Give it just a really good going over. So listen, thanks for watching this part of the video for now. We'll have loads more to come.